If you were to ask a bunch of aquarists what they consider the number one pest or even their top three pests in aquariums, I'd be willing to bet that a good majority of them are going to say something like Aptasia or Majano. And that is what this video is going to be about today. There's a variety of products that are out on the market that can help us to combat these annoying pests. So I'm going to go over several of them that are available and we're even going to try some out. So stay tuned. Hi there, Hillary here for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. There are a huge number of ways to get rid of Aptasia in our tanks. You can use biological methods, so things like Bergia nudibranchs or filefish, copper band butterflies, or even peppermint shrimp will help to get rid of the Aptasia and Majano in your tank. You also have mechanical methods to get rid of Aptasia in your tank. And when I say that, I mean physically, manually removing them with your hand. I can show you that in this video. But the main thing that I'm going to focus on today is I'm going to talk about the chemical methods that we can use to get rid of Aptasia in our tank. I've got different tools that are available on saltwateraquarium.com and I'm going to go through and tell you how to use each of them and give you a little demonstration on them. I've been saving some Aptasia in my tank just for this video and I cannot wait to get started and get my tank cleaned back up. So manual removal is pretty easy. All you have to do is go in with a pair of tongs and gently manually remove the Aptasia and get rid of them. But when it comes to the chemical method, many of the products that are out on the market are used and done in a very similar fashion. So let's go ahead and start with Joe's Juice. Now with this product, you're going to get a little container of solution. You are going to get a syringe and then a tip for the syringe. You wanna make sure that you shake up the bottle that is in here and pull some up into your syringe. And Now, before you get in your tank, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you pause and turn all of your power heads on feed mode and turn off your main pump for 30 minutes while you are using this product and after it is done. You wanna make sure there's not flow in the tank. And once that flow is turned off, go ahead and use the syringe to gently inject the solution to the mouths of the Aptasia, the Majano, get it as close as possible to the mouth of these anemones so that they will take it in. When you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're moving really slow and gently so that they don't pull in before you're able to get the treatment to them. Now moving on to the second product, this is from Tropic Marin. It works in a very similar way to Joe's Juice. You're going to get a container of solution. You're also going to have a syringe with that tip on the end. And once your power heads and your main pump is off, you want to make sure you have them off while you're doing this treatment. You're going to go ahead and pull up a syringe full of the solution and get it as close to the mouth of those Aptasia as possible. Now again, leave the flow off for approximately 30 minutes so it doesn't get mixed around in your tank. After 30 minutes, they should be eliminated. All right, moving on to our third Aptasia RX. This product is from Blue Life USA. I really love some of their other products and have had great success, so I can only hope for the same. Now, this is another one that comes with a little vial of solution. You're gonna wanna shake it up. Now, go ahead and get a syringe full of the Aptasia RX using the syringe. Now, included in the box are a 14 gauge and a 22 gauge two inch tip that you can use for this depending on what you need. So go ahead and gently place the syringe over the Aptasia, trying not to disturb it, that's key. Apply the desired amount on top of the Aptasia, and if the results aren't visible within 30 minutes, you can go ahead and redose after 24 hours. Okay, the next product is one from Aquarium Systems France. It is a relatively new product on the market, Zaptasia. Now this one works a little bit differently than some of those other ones. There's no tip that you have to add on the end of the syringe. It's already a nice pointed curved syringe, but what you're going to do is tear open one of these individual packets and 
add it to the syringe. If for some reason it is thick, you can go ahead and add a couple of drops of RODI water to dilute. Now carefully position the applicator tip over the center of the Aptasia and you want to feed the Aptasia just a small amount of the Zaptasia until the product from the syringe spreads from the center to the base of its tentacles. You can repeat this process for all of the Aptasia and the Majanos in your tank and then you can turn those power heads and that flow in your tank back on. So before you start using this one, you definitely wanna make sure that the flow is completely off just as with all of the other products. All right, moving on to F Aptasia. I love the name on this one. It makes me smile every single time I hear it. This one is made by Frank's Tanks out of Texas. Now, this is another one that's a little bit different than those first three. So you are going to have a little uh, container full of the solution. You're going to shake that up and get it mixed well. Now, just like those other ones, you're gonna have a syringe with those tips on it. So go ahead and pull up a syringe full of the solution. Once the flow is off in your tank, again, power heads on feed mode, that uh, main return pump should be off, protein skimmer should be off while you're doing this. Go ahead and slowly and carefully add this to the Aptasia and the Majanos. Now, this one is different in that it's going to encapsulate those anemones and you're gonna leave it like that. You're gonna leave the flow off in the tank so that it can set up and solidify. And after a day or so, you're gonna to wanna to come back in and siphon out all of those caps and the dead anemones that are encapsulated inside of them. So that's how this one works. If you're using this product, again, make sure to read the instructions so that you get it all right and correct the first time. All right, I feel like I saved the best one for last. This is the Majano wand. Now this worked completely different than all of the other ones. To use this, you're going to need an outlet to plug it into. Now this, for the most part, is waterproof. It's not going to electrocute you. It uses low voltage. What you're gonna do is you are going to submerge the device in the water, get to those Aptasia, to those Majanos, and push that button just once to give them a zap. And that's all you need to do. So I've given you a huge list of different products that are out on the market from those biological to the chemical and even manual removal with your hands ways to get rid of Aptasia in your tank. Now, whatever you choose to use is entirely up to you. All of these are great options, but I would remind you to use patience. There's a good chance that all of these Aptasia didn't show up overnight, so don't expect them to disappear overnight either. Don't worry, this is a problem that a lot of Aquarius face and we are here for you. Don't give up. We got some products that are gonna help you. All right, this has been Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.